It's no secret that African leaders are often depicted as puppets, engaging in handshakes with Western counterparts and complying with Western demands for personal gains. However, those who prioritize African interests over Western agendas face severe consequences, including assassination attempts. Ibrahim Chor of Burkina Faso, amidst threats to his life, defied this norm by forging alliances beyond the West, notably with Russia, enhancing his nation's security with Russian snipers. This bold move not only frustrated Western powers but also highlighted Chor's commitment to safeguarding Burkina Faso's future. Traore's departure from the conventional reliance on Western powers in favor of forging partnerships with Russia, Turkey, and Iran, coupled with substantial investments in military equipment, has sparked astonishment and disapproval in Western capitals. Despite the Western backlash, Chor remains steadfast, placing Burkina Faso's sovereignty and security above adhering to Western expectations. His refusal to engage in Western alliances is a strategic move deeply rooted in the historical trend of African leaders facing repercussions for challenging Western interests. The attempts on Traore's life are not isolated incidents but rather part of a broader scheme aimed at dissuading African leaders from disrupting the established order. Traore's significant investment in military defense serves not only to safeguard his leadership but also to assert Burkina Faso's independence. By eschewing traditional Western dependencies that historically restrained African nations, Traore signals a departure from the cycle of exploitation and domination perpetuated through aid, loans, and military support tied to Western agendas. Traore's actions symbolize a pursuit of genuine autonomy, acknowledging the historical backdrop where leaders who resisted Western influence often met tragic ends. Through strengthening Burkina Faso's defenses and cultivating alliances beyond the West, Traore challenges the prevailing narrative of African subservience, indicating a move towards a self-sufficient and sovereign future for his country. Figures like Patrice Lumumba in the Congo, Thomas Sankara in Burkina Faso, and Muammar Gaddafi in Libya serve as stark examples of African leaders who faced grim fates after confronting Western supremacy. Traore, the current leader of Burkina Faso, is acutely mindful of this historical precedent. His strategic maneuvers, such as enhancing his nation's military capabilities and forming partnerships with non-Western powers like Russia, Turkey, and Iran, are direct responses to this historical legacy. Traore is striving to liberate Burkina Faso from the cycle of reliance and external meddling that has afflicted Africa for centuries. His endeavors are not solely about self-preservation but also about securing Burkina Faso's future and ushering in a new epoch of African self-governance. Traore's choice to align with Russia, Turkey, and Iran transcends a mere rejection of Western influence, it signifies a broader shift in global power dynamics. These alliances represent pragmatic responses to the enduring Western dominance in Africa across economic, political, and military domains. While Russia, Turkey, and Iran may not be traditional partners for African nations, their shared resistance to Western hegemony renders them natural allies for Burkina Faso. Russia, with its historical support for African liberation movements, offers military expertise and equipment to help Burkina Faso defend its sovereignty. Turkey, under President Erdogan, presents not only military support but also cultural and religious affinity, along with investments in infrastructure projects. Iran, known for resisting Western pressures, provides strategic support and expertise in agriculture, energy, and technology to Burkina Faso. These alliances are reshaping Africa's geopolitical landscape by challenging Western dominance and offering a new model of cooperation based on mutual respect and shared interests. Traore's partnerships with these nations signal to other African countries that it is possible to resist Western pressures and build strong relationships with non-Western powers. This message is resonating across the continent, prompting leaders to reconsider their traditional alliances and assert their sovereignty. Balancing security needs with socioeconomic development is a central challenge for Tror. Critics argue that his focus on military spending might divert resources from essential services like education and healthcare. However, Traore recognizes that security is paramount for development, especially in a region plagued by armed groups and insurgencies. His investments in military equipment are aimed at creating a stable environment where long-term development can flourish. 
Traore's leadership style, characterized by defiance against Western influence and a focus on sovereignty, has sparked debates within Burkina Faso and across Africa. While he has garnered both admiration and criticism, his commitment to protecting Burkina Faso's interests and forging a path independent of Western powers has resonated with many Burkinabi. His leadership represents a beacon of hope and self-determination for a nation weary of instability and external interference. Across Africa, Traore's leadership is challenging the narrative of African dependency on the West. His bold moves and alliances with non-Western powers are influencing perceptions by showcasing that African nations can assert their sovereignty and build partnerships outside of traditional Western spheres of influence. Traore's leadership offers a new vision of African governance, unapologetically African, sovereign, and focused on the well-being of the people. TR race challenge to the narrative of African dependency on the West is a pivotal moment in the continent's history. Decades of foreign aid, military interventions, and economic policies have often perpetuated harm rather than progress. However, Chor's leadership exemplifies a shift in this narrative, demonstrating that African nations can assert their sovereignty, make independent decisions, and form robust partnerships with non-Western powers. Traore's leadership is emblematic of a burgeoning wave of Pan-Africanism, a dynamic movement that places a strong emphasis on self-reliance, sovereignty, and the cultivation of partnerships grounded in mutual respect and shared interests. The roots of Pan-Africanism can be traced back to the early 20th century, a pivotal period in which visionary leaders like Kwame Krumah and Julius Nyerere fervently advocated for African unity and independence from the clutches of colonial domination. Today, a powerful resurgence of Pan-Africanism is being propelled by a new generation of leaders who are resolute in their mission to break free from the enduring legacies of colonialism and neocolonialism that have long hindered the continent's progress. Traore's strategic decisions and actions stand as a potent manifestation of this renewed Pan-African spirit. By boldly rejecting the pervasive influence of Western powers and instead forging alliances with non-Western nations, he not only underscores Africa's inherent capability to chart its own course in terms of development and security but also sends a resounding message about the continent's determination to shape its destiny on its own terms. This message holds particular significance in a region where the reverberations of past colonial and neocolonial exploitation continue to be felt. The reverberations of Traore's leadership extend far beyond the borders of Burkina Faso, resonating with fellow leaders across Africa who are closely observing his approach and beginning to consider adopting similar strategies. In countries like Mali and Guinea, where leaders have also grappled with external pressures and interventions, signs of emulation and strategic realignment are starting to surface. These leaders are increasingly exploring alternative alliances, bolstering their military capabilities, and asserting their sovereignty by pushing back against external demands that do not serve the interests of their nations. However, Traore's bold defiance of Western powers is not without its challenges. The looming threats of economic sanctions, diplomatic isolation, and even military intervention underscore the risks inherent in challenging the established order. Yet, Traore's strategic alliances with countries like Russia, Turkey, and Iran provide him with a crucial support network that enables him to navigate and mitigate these external pressures effectively. Furthermore, Traore's unwavering focus on strengthening Burkina Faso's military readiness underscores his deep commitment to protecting the nation's sovereignty and security, even in the face of potential adversities. Traore's leadership represents a significant paradigm shift in African governance in the 21st century, characterized by resilience, independence, and a steadfast dedication to the well-being of the populace over external interests. This evolving model of leadership is gaining traction across the continent, with many viewing Traore as a beacon of hope and a symbol of resistance against external interference and exploitation. In a broader context, Traore's actions and the growing momentum of Pan-Africanism signal a transformative shift in the dynamics of power and influence on the continent. By challenging traditional Western hegemony and embracing partnerships with non-Western actors, African leaders like Traore are reshaping the geopolitical landscape of the region and asserting Africa's agency in shaping its own destiny.
This new wave of Pan-Africanism signifies a collective resolve among African nations to break free from the shackles of external control and forge a path towards genuine independence, unity, and progress. Traore's leadership journey underscores the complexities and nuances of navigating the intricate web of global politics and power dynamics, especially for African nations seeking to assert their sovereignty and chart a course towards sustainable development. His bold stance against Western dominance and his strategic partnerships with alternative allies exemplify a growing trend towards diversification and autonomy in international relations among African states. As Traore continues to navigate the challenges and opportunities that lie ahead, his leadership serves as a compelling narrative of resilience, determination, and the unwavering pursuit of a future defined by African interests and aspirations. Looking ahead, the future of Burkina Faso under Traore's leadership is both promising and challenging. While the country is positioning itself as a beacon of African independence, it faces risks such as economic sanctions, diplomatic isolation, and external intervention. However, Traore's proactive approach suggests that he is cognizant of these risks and is actively preparing to navigate them. The question remains, will Burkina Faso undergo profound changes under Traore's rule? Who seeks to assassinate him, and can Africans safeguard this transformative leader? These are critical queries that underscore the significance of Chor's leadership in shaping Burkina Faso's future and Africa's trajectory as a whole. Thanks for watching till the end. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like as well as a sub so more people can see this.